Guys, you know we love cutting edge technology. So we've got some great cutting edge technology with you for you today. I'm here with Manny with Solatrack. Manny, thank you for being on our YouTube channel. Pleasure. You have the first, or at least the first to me, electric tractor. You've got a background in tractors. You were with Mahindra previously in life. Tell us about this venture, why you wanted to do this, and, and what's in store for the future of tractors. Sure, thank you, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Of course, I'm called the tractor guy. Okay. I've been in the industry for many, many years. Uh, so this was very interesting, uh, being coming out of the diesel world forever uh, to an electric tractor. So this is the first North American tractor company and first North American tractor to commercialize a 25, 30 horsepower tractor to the real market. Uh, we have a facility in Windsor, which is around 50,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. We have a distribution point in Denton. So we sort of covering the state. Uh, we have around 28 dealers with 60 locations okay. and, and growing every day. Uh, so we are in for a uh, for a surprise to the market when it comes to what a diesel tractor can do yeah. and what our plans are going forward. Very cool. So everywhere from North Carolina to Texas, yes. strong dealer network so far. That, that's great to hear. Currently, you've got a 25 horse tractor on the market. Tell us who is the target market for this size tractor? So it is for any and all kind of hobby farmers, mm -hmm. rural lifestylers. It is a perfect tractor for equestrian. Question. No noise, yeah. Yes. It is a perfect tractor for golf courses, municipalities, uh, universities, mm -hmm. uh, and any and all kind of mowing, loader, backhoe applications. Okay. So this is a perfect tractor for those sizes. Wow, so it's got enough power torque to operate most any. Where's, what's the power at the PTO? See, the beauty of electric tractors, you get instant torque. Okay. At zero RPM. It doesn't idle. You, when you step on the gas, or sorry, step on, not on the gas, step on the pedal, it'll start working, right? Gotcha. So, and the, instead of a diesel engine, which has got 350 parts plus, you have a battery pack, you have a motor, and you have an e-box, that's it. Mm -hmm. So barely any maintenance, no loss of efficiency. In diesel, you lose 65 to 70% in the engine itself, mm. and you lose a ton of power going into the PTO mm -hmm. and you have to rave up the diesel engine to 2100 RPM to get the PTO power. Whereas here you get full power, full torque. You don't need to step on the gas to get that torque. You can get while you creep the tractor at low speed. Wow. So it is getting full torque at low speed. At that is, RPM. that is definitely something nice and unique. Right. Good stuff. And it's got, they've all got front end loaders to them, plenty of power with the loader. Absolutely. So it's got the same capacity, 1,100 pound capacity on the bucket. Uh, it's got a six and a half feet digging depth on the backhoe. Okay. So similar loader, similar backhoe, same three point hitch implements, but no emission, no noise, no vibration tractor. Wow. That is, it is super quiet. Couldn't believe it when we, we walked up. So that is perfect for the hobby farm. Great for equestrian. Understand that. Most of our audience is in poultry industry. So we also understand you're coming out with a 50 and a 70 horse in the future. Can you tell us about those machines? So our first product after 25 would be the 75 Narrow. Okay. So and that's for vineyards, orchards. Okay. Very compatible to poultry because it's got that size, it's got that height, it's got the turning radius and all, all that is very important for a poultry mm -hmm. in a, a farming. So, so that product is probably the best suitable for poultry. And I understand even the poultry attachments are around 70, 80 PTO. Mm -hmm. So this is precise for that. And then we are coming down one size to 50. Okay. Uh, uh, both the tractors, hopefully in the next year, this time at this show, we should have a display. Really? So as soon as one year from now? Yes. Okay, great. The one thing that really stood out to me, because being in poultry houses all the time, the dust, the litter, all of that that just gets sucked into the engine and we want to keep our tractors clean. It's a whole new beast with just a battery compartment. Absolutely. So you're, you don't have the maintenance, you won't have the downtime, but the, the maintenance of this seemingly has got to be better over the lifetime span of it. So how do you, what would you say to the poultry farmer that loves his diesel maintenance cost wise, long term? Sure. Three moving parts in the engine, you barely have any maintenance there. Right. It's, it's lifetime. Mm. Yeah, and, and the rest of them are traditional tractor. But when it comes to maintenance, it's always the engine. You have to, of course, the diesel particulates, the diesel, uh -huh. in a pu purity of the diesel, yes. or the oil, right? Uh -huh. uh, here, there's nothing. So yeah. there is no diesel, there is no oil. 
and the, mostly the transmissions in the hydraulics are are trouble free it's the engine which causes the problem with a lot of electronics in it and this is a simple electric machine mm -hmm. which has no maintenance when it comes to the electric motor and once you put all what you expense in running a diesel tractor you it'll show you how much of savings you will have when you run an electric tractor even though the tractor might be 25 30% more than a comparable diesel you can get that money back in 2 to 3 years because of the savings mm. So let's talk about money for a second. Farmers love government incentives. We know that California has offered a really good incentive. Do you see other states giving incentives or a nationwide incentive program? Absolutely. Uh, California has been kind enough to give 80% almost incentives under the core program. Okay. And then now there is another program which is farmers program in California. I just recently heard that in Colorado, they are giving 45% if you trade in a diesel and buy an electric wow so very soon i see this growing to other states where they will give it and it's 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 the the flexibility of this tractor it's the it's what the tractor can do any and all what a diesel tractor does in a much much better and efficient manner why not incentivize Absolutely. to buy an electric so a lot of great information about these tractors talk to me a little bit about the battery technology is it the same as in a car or is it the same as in a golf cart? What, how does it See, work? the battery technology has improved uh, year on year. Okay. The cost of the battery packs have come down. Uh, the safety of the battery packs has always been good. Uh, lithium ion phosphate is the battery design we use. Okay. And, and that's very safe. And it's got good density and good power uh, to offer. Uh, and the charge time is 110 volt. Uh, you can use your wall charger. Uh, okay. overnight charge the tractor or if you use a 220 volts it charges with six to seven hours oh. we're also working on a semi-fast charger to charge the tractor in two to three hours oh wow uh, in terms of runtime depending on the application if it's load or backhoe probably the whole day mm -hmm. if it's any type of pto or three point hitch implements you're talking about four to six hours four to six time. hours and on an open air tractor that is that's a, a good run time. that is a good run time absolutely so how long do you think these batteries should last? What's the lifespan of a battery pack? So very good question. Uh, we have a six year warranty on the tractor. Okay. Likewise, the battery also has a six year warranty. Okay. And the battery cycle is around 3,500 cycles. If you, even if you use for 350 hours per year, you're talking about a 10 year life. Oh wow. So okay. you're already protected for six years. Yeah. The battery has got a 10 plus year life. Got you. And we haven't been this far out, I'm assuming, but if I were to buy a replacement battery today, what does that look like in terms of cost? Again, another good question. Um, a typical diesel engine for a 25-30 horse would cost around $6,500. Mm. A battery pack, my cost, which I can sell for any warranty purpose, would be around $8,000. Okay. So it's not much. Gotcha. So it's usually 25% more than a comparable diesel. Okay. But as I said, you can earn that money back in two to three years with your usage. Gotcha. So there you go. So 25% more up front, yeah. but we can go to solasave.com and find out our calculation. Absolutely. And you'll find it in two to three years, you can get your money back. Gotcha. So total cost of ownership is what we need to be looking Absolutely. at. Absolutely. And maintenance costs and downtime. So awesome. Apart from emission, no, f no fumes, no noise. Yes. No vibration, enjoy the tractor. It, well, that was a big thing about poultry farms. You're in a, in a house, you're not getting emissions. Hobby farmers in a greenhouse going down or a hot house hoop, they're not getting any emissions, putting it out. It just makes a ton of sense. So this is very, this is awesome. I haven't gotten my head around the electric car yet because of travel and time and downtime charging, but here, you're not leaving the farm with this to charge it up at night, it just seems to make sense. And so we all know that this is probably gonna be a big chunk of our future is electric tractors. So sure, absolutely. Manny, I really appreciate your time Thank today. You. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We'll leave the link for sure. you below. Always reach out, Mike at Southland Organics, 800-608-3755. And please check out Solatrack and Solasave. Thanks and have a great day.